Hello everyone, today we'll be going through Cambridge IGCSC Mathematics Paper 3 Core 0580-33 May-June 2021. Let us go to question number 1. Question number 1 says, Ray owns an electric shop. The table shows the opening times of the shop. They have given the days. If we see these two days are closed, no working, and for these five days, one, two, three, four days, four days is uh, opening time is from 8 to 12.30, one shift, and the second is 13.30 to 1700 time. And such a day timing is different, rest of the timing is different. So we will check um, on, on these four days, on these four days, how, how much time it will be open for. So it will be from 12.30. The easiest way to calculate this is by the help of calculator we can do this and from 12 12 30 minus 8 so 12 hours and 30 minutes minus 8 hours and this will be 4 hours and 30 minutes we can write here 4 hours and 30 minutes we can write this and the second interval is the second time duration is this one which we can uh, figure out which will be 17 hours minus 13 hours and 30 minutes and this will be equal to 3 hours and 30 minutes so we have to add these to 3 hours and 30 minutes and this time is for four days if we add this time if we add this time three or 30 minutes is already there and plus four hours and 30 minutes this will be eight hours so total time is eight hours this is for one day and this time is for four days so we will multiply eight hours by four and in this time we will add time for saturday time for saturday will be how many hours this will be 13 hours minus eight hours and this will be equal to five hours we can write here uh, five hours and plus the the timing is 19 hours minus 14 hours and this is equal to five hours again so five hours plus five hours this will be 10 hours time so in this time we will add 10 hours and we will get total time will be uh, 42 this will be 32, 32 plus 10 will be 42, so we can write 42 hours and this will be our answer which we can provide over here. This is 3 marks part which we are done. Now B part, Saeed buys two ovens costing this much each and four grills costing this much each and three fridges costing this one. So we need to calculate the total cost so this will be oven oven will be two ovens so this will be 440 dollars and 440 dollars will be multiplied by two and then what else we have four grills so four grills will be uh, 184 costing each 184 multiply by 4 and then three fridges and this will be costing 1280 each so this will be multiplied by 3 and this will be equal to 
440 multiply by 2 will be equal to 880. This will be 880 and 184. 184 multiply by 4 will be equal to 736. 736 and 1280 multiply by 3 and this will be equal to 3840. 3840 and we will add so total cost will be equal to we can add 3840 plus 736 plus 880 and this will be 5456 5456 this will be our final answer and this will be three marks now uh, c part alice buys three batteries costing 2.85 dollar each work out how much change she receives from 10 dollars so um, price she need to pay is so much uh, cost of batteries uh, will be equal to 2.85 dollars and this will be multiplied by 3 and this is equal to 2.85 multiplied by 3 is equal to 8.55 8.55 dollars and she's paying so change will be equal to ten dollars and minus this will be 8.55 and this will be equal to uh, 10 minus answer is equal to 1.45 dollars so 1.45 will be final answer and this is two marks part hopefully you understood this D part Cherry works 32 hours one week and she is paid 8.48 per hour. In another week, she works 37 hours, and for each hour over 32 hours, she works, she is paid 1.25 times her hourly rate. Calculate her pay for the week she works 37 hours so for 32 hours uh, she will be paid she is working 37 hours out of 37 32 hours are paid at rate of 8 uh, 8.48 dollars and this will be equal to 32 multiply by 8.48 it is equal to 271.36 271.36 dollars this is the payment uh, normally she is receiving for 32 hours and now over 32 hours are 5 hours so extra hours uh, will be will be what 37 minus 37 minus 32 which will be equal to 5 hours and payment for these 5 hours will be 5 hours will be at the rate of 8.48 multiply by 1.25 because this rate is different so this will be 5 multiplied by 8 point four eight and multiply by one point two five and bracket close and this will be equal to fifty three dollars fifty three dollars we will add these two amounts and this will be our answer so total will be what this will be equal to fifty three is already there so plus two seventy one point three six is equal to uh, 324.36 324.36 dollars will be our answer which we can provide over here this is four marks part which we are done c part it says ray buys a toaster for 36 dollars when he sells it he makes a profit of 40 percent calculate the 
selling price of this uh, toaster so uh, how we are calculating 140 because of uh, this one um, profit so cost price plus rate of the profit over divided by 100 so this will be for profit if it is loss then this instead of this plus we are writing minus and this will be multiplied by 36 dollars and we will get the amount which will be our answer so we can write 100 plus 40 divided by also 100 and this will be multiplied by 36 and this is equal to 50.4 $50 dollars this will be the answer for this one 50.4 dollars hopefully you understood this is two marks part now question number two question two says may and jian each make a four uh, face dice as shown in the diagram the faces on each dice are numbered one two three four and may throws her dice 90 times and records the scores and uh, the pie chart shows the results so this is the pie chart for those results part one write in the mode mode will be in pie chart mode will be the the section which is covering the most area and if we see this area is the most one so we will say three is uh, the mode so this area is mode we can write here three this is one mark part then work out how many times she score one so one one will be we can see this is uh, th 76 degrees 76 degree out of this total one which is 360 so 76 out of 360 76 divided by 360 and multiply by 90 because she's throwing 90 times so we'll multiply by 90 and we will get 76 over 360 360 and multiply by 90 is equal to 19 times she will be getting one so 19 is our final answer for this one uh, now b part b part says Gian throws his dice 90 times and records the scores. The pie chart shows the result right in the median. Median will be the middle value, and middle value, if we check from here, middle value will be lying in this section. So um, it will be in two we can write here this will be two and this is one mark part and then c part write on two different com comparisons between the results for my and the results for gn so we will be writing for this if we check uh, mode in case of uh, this one is three whereas mode in this case is one most occurring is this one which is one so we can write this uh, difference this is may has may has mode mode of three and gn and gn has mode of one and then we can write the second one uh, large two and three sectors then yeah so may has uh, large uh, two sectors so we can see 
two and three large sectors in this one. Two and three are large sectors. As compared to this one in this, two and three are small sectors. So we can say may has large two and three sectors then gn so these are the two points which which you can provide for the comparison now question number three question three says a part the diagram shows a scale uh, drawing of uh, Joel's rectangular garden the scale is one centimeter represents eight meters this is scale provided find the actual area of the garden so if we measure this side this side mean this one uh, length of uh, this uh, rectangle is length of rectangle is we can measure it is uh, uh, 10 centimeters so 10 centimeter multiply by 8 because of the scale this will be equal to 80 and similarly this side if we check the length of the side this is uh, um, this is 6 centimeters and 6 centimeter multiply by 8 will be equal to 48 now to find area area of uh, this one we can multiply this 80 and 48 so it will be 80 multiplied by 48 will be equal to 80 multiplied by 48 is equal to 3840 3840 and this will be uh, in centimeter okay so this will be in meter square so meter square this will also be in meters and meters because by this scale we are converting this into the length original length which is in meters so and these steps which i have written over here this one you, and this one you can write in your working in this area also before writing this answer you can copy those steps in this section even at the diagram is also basically included in the working that's why i have not copied over here so the final answer we can write over here 3840 meters square and this is three marks part which we have done now b part the diagram shows a rectangular gate f g h j in joel's garden diagram is not to scale g j is equal to 2.5 g j is which one we if we draw g j g j is this one and this is 2.1 meters 2.1 meters and f g f g is this one and f g is 0 0.85 meters 0 0.85 meters now this one we have indicated find fj fj is which one fj this one we needed to find so fj is required now what we can do we can take this diagram and we can understand over here so this is basically the triangle for which we require this side this length is required so we can apply pythagoras theorem um, this is a rectangle so this will be 90 degrees so hence we can apply pythagoras pythagoras theorem or pythagorean theorem so this will be our hypotenuse and uh, this will be opposite and this one will be adjacent for this angle 
so we can write like 2.1 squared 2.1 squared is equal to 0 0.85 squared plus we can take this side as x so this is equal to x squared or we can write the names f j and g so plus f j f j squared now f j f j or f g yes f j basically so f j will be equal to 2.1 squared minus 0 0.85 squared and under root so we can solve this under root of uh, 2.1 squared and minus 0 0.85 squared and this this is equal to 1.92 1.92 this will be in meters because of the lengths are in meters so this will be 1.92 this will be our answer for three marks hopefully you understood this c part c part says diagram is not to scale the diagram shows brenda's rectangular garden there is a, a patio in the shape of a quarter circle she wants to grow grass in the shaded area of the garden she needs 40 grams of grass seed per square meter grass seed is sold in one kg bags which cost this much 6.80 dollars per bag calculate the cost of the grass seed she needs to buy now first of all we will find the rectangle area so we can write area of rectangle this will be equal to 24 meters multiply by 85 meters and this will be equal to 24 multiplied by 85 is equal to 2040 2040 meters square 40 meter square now uh, we can check for this pet area this area which is uh, sh now shaded so area of patio this will be equal to 1 by 4 of pi r squared pi r square is 24 so 1 by 4 of pi r squared and this will be equal to 1 over 4 of uh, uh, pi this is pi and r squared mean 24 squared and this will be equal to 144 pi 144 and pi now we calculated this now grass area we can write grass area and this will be equal to uh, total area of rectangle which is 2040 and this will be also in meter square so minus this will be 144 pi and this will be equal to how much this will be 144 pi is already there so 2040 minus answer is equal to 1587.61 1587.61 this will be in uh, meters square now 40 gram of grass seeds per square meter so how many kilograms of seed will be required for this area so seed required seed required will be equal to 1587.61 this will be multiplied by 40 over 1000 we are changing 40 grams into kilograms and this number is already there so we'll multiply by 40 divided by 100 uh, thousand basically and this will be equal to 63.50 63.50 this will be uh, 63.50 bags basically this will be 
yes this will be back so we cannot buy uh, 63.50 bags so number of bags we need to uh, bags need needed um, will be 64 bags and this will be cost of 64 bags will be equal to 64 multiply by uh, 6.80 per bag so multiply by dollar 6.80 so this will be equal to 64 multiply by 6.80 will be equal to 6 Point eight zero will be equal to four thirty five point two dollars four thirty five point two dollars this will be our final answer which we can provide for thirty five point two dollars this is a six mark marks part which we are done now question number four we need to simplify this for this one we will be adding like terms so 3a plus 2a will be 5a and minus 5b plus b will be minus 4b and this will be our final answer for two marks now b part b part says p is equal to this we have to replace the values and find the value of y p is 90 so 90 is equal to 3 into 5 squared minus uh, x is y basically yeah so minus 5 y so 5 y will be equal to 3 into 5 square will be 25 and minus 90 so it will be 75 minus 90 and this will be 5 y will be equal to uh, 75 75 minus 90 over 5 over 5 we can cancel this and this will be equal to what uh, 75 minus 90 and divided by will be 5 and this is equal to minus 3 so y value will be minus 3 hopefully you understood this c part factorize this completely will take common so 6 we can take common so inside will be x minus 3 6 into x minus 3 this will be our final answer then factorization of this one we can take 5x common which is maximum so inside will be 5x plus 2 and we can write answer over here this will be our final answer for two marks hopefully you understood this now for this one we have to make d as subject and to make d subject what we will do uh, we will shift three to other side so 8d is equal to t plus 3 so d is equal to t plus 3 over 8 so t plus 3 over 8 will be our final answer for uh, two marks and we need to solve this e part uh, and we can shift 6 to other side so x will be equal to 12 into 6 which is equal to 72 and 72 will be our final answer for this part second part 7x minus 4 is equal to 3x plus 2 and we have to solve this one so we will shift 3x to the other side so 7x minus 3x is equal to 4 also we can shift to the side so 4 plus 2 which is equal to 6 so 4x is equal to 6 so x will be equal to 6 by 4 and this will be equal to 3 by 2 or we can write 1.5 so 1.5 will be our final answer for two marks which is uh, done now question number five says find these values basically calculator usage so we can write under root of three two zero point four one and this is equal to seventeen point nine seventeen point seventeen point nine will be our final answer this is one mark part and next we need to find this uh, square and this is also calculator usage so 6.4 squared and plus this will be 1.2 raised to the power 3 is equal to 
42.688 and we can write here answer this one one mark part the reciprocal of two reciprocal of two we know is one by two so one by two will be answer for one mark and nine raised to the power zero we know anything raised to the power zero will be one so this will be equal to one and we need to calculate this as well this will be three by seven three over seven of of mean multiplication of 42 this will be equal to 18 so we can provide answer over here which will be 18 this is done now 12 percent of 62 12 and this is a percent of mean multiplication of 62 and this will be equal to 7.44 uh, 7.44 is for this one and we can write answer over here this will be answer for one mark and then b part insert one pair of brackets in each statement to make it correct and if we insert bracket this it means we will be solving this first so 12 minus 5 will be 15 15 divided by 5 will be 3 and 3 minus 3 will be 0 so then this statement will be true this is one mark part and the second part we have to insert basically we, we need 17.5 so if we insert bracket over here and you can check with the help of calculator also you will get 17.5 this is also one mark part which we are done now for the next part c part they are saying write one of the symbols and if we check uh, these uh, are uh, uh, so this is this side is greater because this will be equal to 0. Uh, 0. 0.7 which is greater than this so we can write this symbol and these two are equal because if we equalize multiply by 20 over 100 so this will be equal to 20 percent and this is 3 by 8 and this will be 0. Point. This is uh, this side is basically greater you can check with the help of calculator also so 3 divided by 8 is equal to in decimal 3.75 so this side is uh, 3 uh, 0 0.375 and this side is 0 0.38 so that's why we have written this these symbols and then deep part 1 write 90 as the product product of uh, prime factors so 90 we can write as 2 and 45 then 3 and 15 then 3 and 5 and our answer will be 2 into 3 squared into 5 this will be uh, fact, uh, prime factorization by tree method you can use other method division method also so second part find second part find the lowest common multiple lcm of 35 and 90 90 we already have prime factors we will write for 35 so 35 we can convert into uh, basically 5 7 are 35 so both are prime so for 90 we can write 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 and for 35 we can write 7 into 5 and if we write the lcm lcm will be including uh, the maximum common basically we will be taking uh, commons we will be taking once and rest of everything we will be taking as it is like 2 into 3 into 3 into 7 and 5 we will take only once so this will be what this will be equal to um, we can check for this and this will be LCM and 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 5 is equal to 630. So we can write 630 as LCM. Now uh, find the HCF. 
of 35 and 90 prime factors we already have 90 is having 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 whereas 35 is having 5 and 7 or 7 and 5 and we can take the common one only for HCF that will be 5 so this is one mark part which we are done now question number 6 says question 6a part diagram is not to scale circle theorem AB is the diameter of the circle so this AB is diameter C is the point uh, on the circle and angle BAC is equal to 52 this is also provided find the angle ABC ABC means this angle is required and we know this angle is 90 degree because angle in a uh, semicircle or triangle in a semicircle is 90 degree so we will write this as 90 degree minus 52 degrees and this will be equal to angle ABC and this will be equal to what we can calculate this will be 90 minus 52 is equal to 38 38 degrees so 38 degrees will be answer and this will be for two marks now B part the diagram shows the positions of town A and town B this is town A this is town B diagram is not to scale and we can't measure the angles or lengths the bearing of B from A is 42 bearing of B from A so this angle is 0 42 degrees so we got this detail then the bearing of town C from A is 146 C from A is 146 so this angle this angle is 146 degrees what we have to find part one find angle BAC BAC okay so total angle is 146 146 146 minus 042 this will give us answer so 146 uh, we can write over here 146 degrees minus 042 or 42 degrees so this will be 146 minus 42 is equal to 104 so 104 degrees will be our answer and this will be two marks part now second part says find the bearing of town a from town b so town a from town b will be this one so this arrow and we need to find this one to check this what we can do we can extend this line and this will be uh, this portion is 42 because this portion is equal to this this one so this is 42 0 42 degrees and this much portion is straight line which is 180 degrees we can add 180 and 042 that will be our answer so 180 plus 042 we can write 180 degrees plus 042 degrees and this will be equal to 180 plus 42 is equal to triple two so triple two will be over here and this is a two marks part which we are done now c part again the diagram is not to scale triangle abc is isosceles with a b and a c so a b and a c are equal b c d is a straight line a c d is equal to 117 find the value of x so this angle will be 180 minus um, 180 minus 107 so we can write angle bca angle bca is equal to 180 minus 117 and this will be equal to 
180 minus 117 is equal to uh, 180 so this will be equal to 63 so this one is equal to 63 now we know this is 63 this one also 63 so x will be equal to what 180 degree minus 63 63 plus 63 and this will be equal to uh, 180 minus 63 plus 63 in brackets and this is equal to 54 so this is equal to 54 degrees this one three marks part which we are done now we can move to the question number seven question number seven says rita and henry own an investment business a part they share profit in the ratio three ratio five in one year they make a profit of this one calculate rita's share so first of all from here we will check the sum of ratios so we can write sum of ratios is equal to 3 plus 5 which is equal to 8 so we have to divide this profit into 8 portions so we can write one portion one portion is equal to 2 4 and five zeros one two three five zeros over this will be divided into eight portions and one portion will be two four one two three four five zeros and divided by eight is equal to three with five zeros so three with five zeros and now this is uh, one portion this is in dollars basically so we need rita's share which is three portions so three portions we can write rita's rita's share and rita's share will be equal to um, three times three zero 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 so this one and this will be equal to nine into five zeros and nine into one two three, five zeros this will be our answer for two marks hopefully you understood this then b part henry invests this much amount at the rate of 2.5 percent per year compound interest so we'll be applying compound interest formula calculate the value of this investment at the end of three years so time duration is three year rate is 2.5 and principal amount is this one so we know the formula compound interest formula is what amount is equal to principal amount into 1 plus rate over 100 raised to the power t time duration this will the formula which we will be applying so amount will be equal to principal amount 1 2 3 okay this is principal amount 1 plus rate which is 2.5 over 100 and raised to the power time duration which is 3 years and the calculator will help us one six one two three four five zeros and multiply by one plus two point five over hundred and raise to the power will be three and this is equal to one seven two three zero yes we have calculated this one seven two three zero two three zero two five uh, basically we have uh, written one zero extra so we'll have to rectify this one so it should be four zeros yes so it will be now one seven two three zero point zero two point five so one seven two three zero two point five and this will be final answer for two marks this is done now c part c part says the rita invests and uh, this much 
at rate of r percent per year the value of our investment at the end of one year is this much work out the value of r so again we'll be applying the same formula and now we'll be finding the rate so principal uh, amount at the end of uh, one year is one two four zero eight and this is equal to principal amount this is principal amount into 1 plus rate r we don't know the value of r so we write r over 100 and raise to the power is for one year so we'll write one so this one uh, 12,000 we can shift to the other side so it will be 12408 divided by 12000 and this is equal to 1 plus r over 100 one also we can shift to other side so it will be r over 100 is equal to um, 1 2 4 0 8 over 1 2 0 0 0 minus 1 and further we can shift r, uh, 100 also to other side so it will be 100 into 1 2 4 0 8 and divided by 1 2 0 0 0 minus 1 and this will give us the answer and this will be 100 and in brackets fraction 1 2 4 uh, 0 8 over this will be 1 2 triple 0 and minus 1 bracket close and this is equal to 3.4 so rate is 3.4 percent uh, basically not percent because they are asking us r value only so we will not write percentage symbol with this this is two marks part which we are done now we can move to the d part d part says rita and henry decorate their office the cost c is this much correct to the nearest hundred dollars complete this statement about the value of c so nearest hundred dollar nearest hundred dollar so hundred dollar we will uh, hundred divided by two we will add plus minus and this will be plus minus 50 this we will add and subtract in the amount and the amount is one zero eight double zero plus minus 50 this will be upper bound and lower bound for plus 50 it will be one zero eight five zero and this will be upper bound and lower bound will be 10750 and lower bound will be always on this side on the lower side otherwise it will be you will not be getting two marks you will be getting one mark if you will be switching these values you will have to check these signs and you will have to write these on in proper order otherwise it will be penalized you should keep in mind this is done for two marks and now question number eight question number eight says a part 15 people take a test these are the test scores these are test scores provided complete the frequency table you must use the tally column to help you so tally column we can check from 0 to 10 0 to 10 or 7 9 and what else 8 also there so this will be the frequency will be 3 11 to 20 11 to 20 will be 12 so 1 18 also and what else nothing else so this will be 2 and then we can check for uh, 21 to 30 so 29 then 27 Mm, then 26 then 23 and 22 and what else that's all so this will be 5 and 31 31 to 40 31 to 40 will be this one 32 and 31 and what else 40 is also there so this one and 35 is also there so this will be 4 and 41 to 50 41 to 50 will be 42 and that's all nothing else so this will be 1 
now we can go ahead with the part second and part second says use your table to complete the bar chart so 0 to 10 is 3 0 to 10 is 3 so 0 to 10 is this segment which we can identify 0 to 10 is uh, 3 so up to 3 we will be drawing line bar basically this one not line so this will be the bar up to 3 over here this is done next is uh, 11 to 20 is 2 so 11 to 20 will be this section and it is uh, Two, so height will be this much and it will be closed from the top and then 21 to 30 is 5 21 to 30 is 5 21 to 30 is 5 so 5 will be up to this bar this much and we can close from the top so this is for the 5 21 to 30 and next will be 31 to 40 is 4 31 to 40 will be this one and this is 4 so 4 will be up to this height and we can close this one and then comes 41 to 50 and 41 to 50 is uh, 41 to 50 is what 41 to 50 is one only so this one one we will take this height now these are basically the heights which we have shown bars we have shown hopefully you understood this so we can show these bars also this is for your um, understanding and these lines are not compulsory so this is done uh, next part is b part b part says on monday and tuesday the probability that a train is late is 0 0.2 0 0.2 on monday so this is late not late will be 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.2 so it will be 0 0.8 and next on tuesday it will be also 0 0.8 remaining and 0 0.8 over here also so one mark for completing the tree diagram which we have done and use the tree diagram to find the probability that the train is late on both days so late and late late and late will be this one so we will multiply 0 0.2 with 0 0.2 so 0. 0. 0.0.2 multiply by 0. 0.2 and this will be equal to 0. 0.04 so we can provide over here 0. 0.2 into 0. 0.2 this will be equal to 0. 0.04 our final answer will be 0. 0.04 for two marks not late second b part is not late on monday and late on tuesday so not late and late so we will take this route basically and this will be equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.2 so we can write here 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.2 and this will be equal to 0 0.16 and 0 0.16 will be final answer for two marks this is done now question number nine question number nine says the table shows some values for y is equal to x squared plus x minus five and we have to for a part we have to complete the table of values for completion of table of values we will type the equation in calculator so alpha alpha this x so x squared x squared plus again x and minus 5 this is our equation we will calculate for minus 4 to check whether we, we are getting 7 or not so minus 4 this should give us 7 uh, so minus 4 basically 
calculate for minus 4 and this is equal to 7 so now we can check for minus 3 calculate for minus 3 calculate for minus 3 and this is equal to 1 so we can write here 1 and next is uh, calculate for 1 calculate for x is equal to 1 and this is giving us minus 3 so minus 3 over here now calculate for 2 calculate for 2 and this is equal to 1 and this is 1 so we have completed the table which is uh, of 2 marks now draw the table we have to draw the table from minus 4 to 3 and this is uh, minus 4 and 7 minus 4 and plus 7 so minus 4 and plus 7 will be this point and next point is uh, minus 3 and 1 minus 3 and 1 is this point and next is minus 2 and minus 3 so minus 2 and minus 3 is this value and next is minus 1 minus 5 so minus 1 minus 5 then comes to 0 and minus 5 so 0 and minus 5 will be over here and next is 1 and minus 3 so 1 and minus 3 will be this one and next value is 2 and 1 so 2 and 1 will be this value and next value comes to 3 and 7 so 3 and 7 will be this value now we got all these values we, we, we need to check see we cannot draw this line straight like this so for that one we require a minimum point so we'll calculate for this one which is uh, minus 0 0.5 value for x so we will calculate this calculate this for minus 0 0.5 and this is giving us minus 5.25 so in between these two it will be like this one so we got another reference point which we have we have we have added for our uh, uh, like uh, better plotting the graph we have added this value and we can draw a smoother curve like this one and we can draw a smoother curve like this and try to draw a smoother curve as smooth as you can and basically practice will be making you perfect in these type of drawing questions almost accurate we have drawn after this one uh, right down they are saying c part b part we have done which is for the drawing and this drawing is four marks and c part says write down the equation of the line of symmetry of this graph line of symmetry as we we have done line of symmetry we can draw also and that line of symmetry will be like this one which we have checked the value which is uh, at minus 0 0.5 so we can provide answer as minus 0 0.5 which we have basically used additional point to draw the graph then they are saying use the graph to solve the equations and this is our y value so y is equal to 0 will be the equation which is x axis so we will check on x axis what are the values uh, values which we need to identify are on x axis this one and this one and this value is basically 0 minus 2.8 minus 2.8 and this point x value is um, 1.8 1.8 will be this value so these two values we can provide over here at the specific point 
uh, minus 2.8 and this will be 1.8 this will be two marks question which you're done now question number 10 question number 10 is transformation question and this is the last question of uh, this paper this exam paper so this will be uh, the drawing the diagram shows four triangles on a grid we have seen these four triangles a b c and t and a part on the grid translate t by vector 2 and minus 5 this is two marks question so t we have to translate by 2 and minus 5 so we can consider this point for example this point we can shift two units right two unit right mean this side and then five unit down so one two three four and five unit down so we will reach at this location so similarly we can shift the other points also like other points so this point will be three units down over here and this point will be over here and we can erase the extra shading so join this these points and we will get the word vertices of the translated triangle and this will be translated triangle and we can uh, the, no name is provided so this is basically for a part we are done with this now describe fully the single transformation uh, that maps triangle t on to a t on to a so if we check this is uh, t and a so if we place mirror inside them or we can say it is reflection this is two units this side is also two units so this is reflection in the line x is equal to zero or ref, um, reflection uh, x is equal to zero or y-axis so we'll write here reflection uh, in the line x is equal to zero or you can write y-axis now uh, second part triangle t on to b t on to b we can check for t on to b so we will join the vertices if we join this one with this and similarly we can join these two as well and the third vertex also we can join to double doubly sure that everything is fine so its uh, center of uh, rotation is origin and it is 180 degree rotation uh, basically 180 degree can be this side or it can be this side it will be same so it has 180 degree rotation um, uh, if, uh, center of rotation is origin so we will be writing here rotation 180 degree uh, rotation 180 degree and this will be origin about origin 0 0 or you can say center of uh, rotation is 0 0 and this is three marks see three marks are separately for each information so you will have to provide all three and for 180 degree there is no uh, difference for clockwise or anti-clockwise so no need to write that now part three triangle t on to c t on to c so t on to c we can see this is already um this is already basically uh, an enlargement by scale factor 1 by 2 this is half of uh, this other one so if we check the base base of c is one unit base of t is two units and height of c is two uh, one and a half unit and height, height of t is three units so it's enlargement by scale factor 1 by 2 and origin is 0 0 0 origin is basically center of enlargement so and enlargement enlargement by 
स्केल फैक्टर वन बाई टू एंड सेंटर विल बी ऑरिजन विच इज जीरो जीरो एंड दीज थ्री इंफॉर्मेशन विल हैव टू प्रोवाइड फॉर दिस वन वी आर डन विद द पेपर होपफुली यू अंडरस्टूड ईच एंड एवरीथिंग डोंट फो गेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस बेल आईकॉन सो दैट यू विल बी गेटिंग नोटिफिकेशन फॉर इनकमिंग यूजफुल वीडियोज ऑल्सो recommend this channel to your friends and classmates also introduce this channel to your respected teachers thank you very much for watching take care bye